So, Liam, this is, it's not Snapchat's fault because, you know, as they, as they say, it's a place for friends to freely communicate but not in ways that are illegal or cause harm. We encourage anyone to report violations of our community guidelines so that our trust and safety team can take appropriate action. It's a game played within Snapchat. Um, but nevertheless, as we've seen in the, in, the, in the bullying chats, and I know that you wanted to talk out because you saw our two mums that we had on yeah. uh, the, the other day, and you were, that's why you were prompted to, to speak about it. Mm. Um, but uh, but it, it is so painful if you're the victim. It is. I mean, when you think about how bully people were bullied 20 or 30 years ago, it was often in school and home was this safe place, whereas now with social media, they're being infiltrated in those safe places and it can become very traumatic. And I think often social media is blamed for that kind of abuse, but it isn't. It's how we use social media. And at Ditch the Label, unfortunately, we see trends like this happen all the time. There was an app called Yik Yak that we were talking about earlier that was quite big a year ago and it, it allowed people to anonymously yeah. abuse other people in their local community and it's it's horrific so what do you do then I mean next year we'll be sitting here talking about something else sadly you know that's gonna happen it's you can't get away from it but what can we do to protect our children I think the most important thing is to try and understand the reasons why people bully in the first place I mean at, at Ditch the Labour we don't ever call anybody a bully because we have research to show that people who um, young people who are going through something stressful or traumatic for example or perhaps don't have good relationships at home or there's hostility around them usually that manifests itself into bullying behaviours mm. and often what you find is if somebody is targeting somebody based on their appearance usually it's to project how that person actually feels about themselves and it's a good sign of, of low self-esteem so actually if we're looking at the whole issue of bullying you know the reactive support to those who get bullied is essential we mm. help thousands of people each week but actually we need to move away from calling people bullies we need to understand the root issues and we need to address those issues head-on to prevent the bullying from ever happening and also I guess you two agree great example of having a relationship with your child where your child feels happy and comfortable to be able to show you those things yeah. not worry that there might be swear words and things that you're just gonna have a knee-jerk reaction and go mad but keep talking and yeah. then you'll end up in this situation so it's a good example to mm. lots of people I think and you say don't join your child's snapchat circle because you're just invading then you're getting in the way the biggest thing for young people is trust and communication and uh, as you said a great example of, of good positive communication and my advice to parents would be to be very proactive with their children and talk openly about what they're doing online just as normal everyday conversation if you're going to be signing up anonymously and connecting with your friends and spying on them it, on your children sorry it, it erodes that trust, yeah. it breaks down that communication and then when your child is going through something difficult they don't feel like they can talk to you about it because they don't trust you. What is quite good, um, which I've noticed on Snapchat, is that, that the, the number of um, snaps that I've got, uh, secret ones, obviously well, not probably ones that you're supposed to be taking in school assemblies <laughs> saying uh, they're showing your interview that we did the other week when we said please to all schools take the interview that we have with those two mums and yeah. show it in assemblies or if you're making an assembly yourself use it as a form of your own assembly yeah, and it's happening a lot I'm seeing that quite a lot yeah I use that post actually because um, I just posted the one about Betsy which you guys have got and then a couple of days later you had the two mums on the show um, Felix and Megan's mum and I kind of went off that and shared your link and did another post about it and that went as as mad and um, I had three um, secondary schools across the country contact me to ask if they could share that within Brilliant. their schools. That's so what it's all about. Yeah. That's what it's all yeah, about. It yeah, no, we gave um, our full permission to spread that far and wide. Yeah. Well done you. Thank you. Yeah. Very good. Excellent. Lovely to meet you. Betsy, Very good. As well. Thank, Thank you. you.